Hello, in this video, we will be starting a small Five Nights at Freddy's series starting with a camera system, we will do aspects of the original series but we will expand on a free roam part 2, we will also be going over some other horror mechanics for this month too. Anyway, here is a demonstration, as you see, we just use the mouse to rotate left and right to see the doors or vents. Now on to the tutorial, I will start with a bit of file organization, where we have our assets, blueprints and user interfaces. Then in the blueprints folder, let's create our player pawn. Since our character just stays there, we don't have to worry about movement, or mesh. Then we name it and open it up, in here, we can add a camera component. This is where the player will see from. We do have some settings to add on to this such as toggling on the use pawn control rotation and when we click on the class default button and search for controller rotation yaw and toggle that. Now on to the event graph, delete all these nodes as we won't be using them. We will need a custom event which will rotate the camera, we can call the event turn camera, and from this event, let's add controller yaw input, the important part is yaw. This is what turns the camera left and right. Next, we need to say which way we want to turn, we would need to make this a variable so we can change which way to turn. Right click this input called value and promote to variable, this will be a float called turn value. Alright so now we need to set up some defaults so add an event begin play. Then get player controller, as we need to add a mouse cursor. To do this, right set show mouse cursor and enable that. Now we need to limit how much we can rotate, as we don't want do a full 360, unless you prefer that. We can add a get player camera manager, and set view yaw min and we also want set yaw max. The min would be the negative number, and max would be a positive number. Now this method, may not be the best method but it still does the job, but we are going to use invisible widgets to decide which way to rotate. So let's create widget and add to viewport, this can also act as the main player widget in the future. Anyway, back to the content browser and create a folder to store the widgets and then add widget in there, name it whatever you want. Then in this widget, we need to add two buttons which are invisible. First button, we can anchor it to the left. In order to anchor a UI, you have to click on this drop down, which has the word anchor, select the long bar one on the left. Next we have to make a size for it, I just add zero, but then for size X, this is where we cover where the mouse can touch to rotate, I think around 400 is a good size. We can make the button hidden, I will just make alpha zero for now in the color name, it's something like reft, and now duplicate it as we want the right. We choose the right bar this time as our anchor, and simply make that size x, the 400 into a negative number, minus 400. We now have our two buttons, when our mouse hovers these, we can slowly rotate. Now let's go to the graph. We can delete the stuff here, all we need to do is focus on the hover and unhovered. Let's start with the left, if you click on these, you have green events on the details panel, find the unhovered and on unhovered. Then do the same for the right. We can group the hovered closer together, and the unhovered. These will have similar code, I will also display an alt method that uses dispatchers and custom events instead of casting. Anyway. For our hovered on left, let's just cast to our player character. Our target object would be get player pawn. Now to do our set turn value. For our left turn value, it would be minus 1. Once we do that, we should set timer by function name. This will mean, 
that turn camera function we made with be called every few seconds, put the function name incorrectly, if you want go find the function turn camera, and copy paste that name, then for the time, it would be something like 0.1 or any number you like to get smoothness and definitely enable looping. Now, simply just copy and paste for the right, except this time change the turn value to 1. We just need to make it so we can stop calling the function once we unhover. This is exactly the same, except now we just need to make the turn value 0. Also delete the set timer by function name. Add in a clear timer by function name, and the function name is that turn camera. I also make sure turn value E is 0. Make sure that both unhovered events for left and right are hooked up to this. Our user interface is done. We can improve on it another time if needed for optimization or something but for now it is fine. Just go back to our character, where we created the widget. This time just select the widget we just created, now right click the return value, and promote this to a variable, name it something and then add it to viewport. We are pretty much done with the code, we can now go to the editor, and place our player into the world, just adjust it properly. And now there are many ways to possess this pawn so we can play as this character, but we are just going to go to the details panel, and find auto possess player, and select player 0. Finally, we are complete, the camera system works. Thanks for watching this video, hopefully more to come soon. Consider sharing my channel around and subscribing, see you next time.